Welcome back to Literosity. In this episode, we're going to look at some new teaching techniques throughout the district. We go to Countryside High School where these teachers take team teaching to a whole new level. So today, uh, we have the teachers that are here. There's two teachers and a support facilitator. Um, the two teachers that are here, Ms. Carmichael and Mr. Creasy, both teach English 2. So this is an English 2 lesson that is leading up to our right score test. We have a right score testing next week. So kind of in preparation to this big assessment, um, and as, as you're probably aware, there's two types of essays that are on the FSA, either an informational or an argumentative essay. So this next right score administration, there is an argumentative essay coming up. So our, student, our teachers are prepping our students for that purpose. How many of you plan your writing? Raise your hand if you plan your writing. Okay. So do you see why we need to do this today? Because honestly, the expectation is, is if you have to plan your writing, whether you're planning for FSA, you're planning to write something else later on when you're going to college or you're going to get a job, because you will have to write an essay. There are two classrooms here um, with a support facilitator present as well. So the two teachers collaborate very, very often with the support facilitator. The support facilitator, Ms. Kutar, uh, supports both of the teachers and she primarily does English all day long. So she's very, very familiar with the two teachers and the, and the students as well. So they've done a lot of planning together. They plan, I think, every Wednesday for a couple hours after school on their own time, uh, just because that's what's best for their students. They're so we ended up kind of combining our resources. Um, the, the two wonderful teachers that I work with, they have different talents. I, you know, we all bring something different to the table. So we're dedicated, so we, we set time aside beside time that we normally do with our own PLC to work together towards our goal, which it's, you know, we ha they have to pass the FSA. So our motto is kind of like the FSA, let's get the FSA out of the way because it's 10th grade. You don't want to have to do that in 11th and 12th grade. So we all have that kind of perception, you know, that is our group combined goal. Well, you know, they're all 10th graders. They all have the same needs. They all need to be engaged. They all need to be um, challenged and they, and they need to interact with each other and the text. So we figured if we brought them both all together, they can see that they're not alone. That what, we're, what I'm doing in my class is not in isolation from what Ms. DeCreasy is doing in her class. So they can see that they're not alone, that we're all doing this, all 10th graders doing this together. So it kind of creates unity, not only amongst um, the teachers, but amongst the students, they can support each other. It was just a great collaboration with students, with teachers. Um, they, their voice was heard from all different perspectives and just to be able to see that it's okay if they struggle constantly. Um, it's okay if they struggle, it's okay if they show their strength, it's, it's all about learning here. And what we did was we combined the different students with um, right score data, so where they fell in cycle one, we kind of grouped them where we felt like they would have like, like needs a little bit more support or help and also students getting together to get to know each other better from different classes, different backgrounds, and students that might not, you know, be as able to like come out and volunteer answers and work hard. Score a run, try you can't catch the ball. So All right, Jarell, let's, 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 let's give another, so hold on. Wait. Give, well, her, give well. her a chance to talk now, her turn. What's All right. It's the she same needs, thing. Use you're a rebuttal. You're competing against other So, other so teams. football and cheerleading is the same thing. It's different, but it's still a sport. How is it different? How is it exactly different? How is it different? Well, I think it kind of helped that I had an athlete and a cheerleader, and, and it happened to be that they were talking about whether um, cheerleading was a sport. That was the argument. And one of the things that I'm trying to tell the students um, in their FSA writing is that we need to hear their voice. We need their words. We don't get hit. We nah. don't. No, y'all don't. Y'all don't get hit. Y'all don't get. Y'all don't get. Y'all don't get hit. Like y'all think y'all do. Y'all get. Y'all get injured. Y'all get injured. We have you ever had a concussion? Like our like, students come with and information, and I don't want them to feel limited to reading the text and generating their ideas based on somebody else. So in order to make them creative thinking thinkers, it was easier for me to get spark their interest by something that they would be passionate about. And now they can see that their thinking can be valued in their writing. This is a heated subject, wasn't it? I believe that's why the help is writing because it really gets your brain thinking to the limits where like, okay, you know, don't get me wrong, she or whoever else feel the need to think the opposite side can think that, but it's more so of like, okay, what do I think? What do I know? 
what do what do what do I what do I know about it exactly? You know, anybody could be like, oh yeah, that's competitive. Anybody can say that, but what do you truly know about it? You know, it actually gets your brain running and thinking about like the deeper meaning of it. You know what I'm saying? Um, I just I it's gonna help me a lot because I say it just helps me think deeper. I get just to see a whole lot of more passageways and more things I can use and say or come up with you know, than what the article or what everybody else is just giving me, you know, because it's my own train of thought. This is planning with a purpose before you read. Look at how much information you already have as experts. So, in order to get an idea of how the students, whether they feel conf confident with what they learned today, our, our learning objective, so we usually give a sticker and we ask the student to rate themselves, how do they feel? Do they feel as though they got it, they got this, this was good, they learned something? I'm a little bit you know, I'm not really sure, but I, I, I'm getting there. And this is, I, I'm a little bit lost. And I need a little bit of support. And what we had done actually was used, we used the different um, colors to, for each group so that we could tell where maybe our um, area of need might be. But it looks like it was pretty uh, well distributed here between these two. I believe that it, it gives them the confidence to show that their opinion matters. You know, um, because I think a lot of them are very shy in the classroom, but now that they were having this discussion with their partners, with their groups, they are, you know, their, their point, their ideas do matter. I really think, you know what, I, th I thought that students that I was very surprised that may have, you know, attendance may be an issue or behavior concerns, some of them amazed me. They were able to like participate. They were really proud of themselves. Um, I saw students say to me, or why can't we do this more often? Like, this is great. Like, this is a good idea. Like, they walked out of here feeling proud. Can I ask you